My name is Sister Mary Peter Matay, Order of St. Benedict, a member of the Congregation of the Missionary Benedictine Sisters of Tutsi. I'm here to answer some of the frequently asked questions before entering the convent. I'm not sure if God is calling me to the religious life. My parents need me. I still have brothers and sisters to support. It's good to feel needed, and supporting your family financially is a noble act. But to be fair to yourself, you should remember that you have the right to fulfill your own dreams and pursue what will make you happy. You are, after all, entitled to lead your own life, even if it means being away from your family. Parents who truly love their children will wish their children the best and understand their chosen state of life. At 21 or after, a young woman ought to be free to choose the state of life she can best serve the Lord and still be happy. The experience of most of us who have hurdled parental objection is that our parents eventually get reconciled to the idea. They are anyhow very proud that they have a religious sister for a daughter. I am not intellectually gifted, nor in some ways talented. This is not expected of everyone who embraces the religious life. As long as you have an average IQ, you can qualify. The ever-generous Lord gives everyone talents in various fields and varying degrees. If you have not discovered or developed yours, you probably will in the convent. I feel I am not strong enough for hard work. I am afraid I might get sick. Hardly has anyone gotten sick because of too much work. Besides, you will be asked to go through a thorough medical checkup before entrance to the convent to see if you are physiologically fit. There are too many sacrifices to be made in the convent. Life in and out of the convent has its joys and hardships. Sacrifices to be made are plentiful in and out of the convent. Test your mettle. Religious life is too hard and too strict. If it were, would it have an enrollment of millions? Every Christian is asked to live in the spirit of the gospel. Religious life is nothing else but living the gospel seriously. I am a sociable type and I love good life. I think I will miss this in the convent. You are sociable? So are the sisters. They like to be with people. They deal with them a lot. And they like to be with one another, especially during recreations and outings, even during occasional concerts and movies. They love life, but not necessarily the good life of the rich. For the sisters have to limit costly activities and live simply. I want to be successful in life. That is exactly what every sensible religious wants. There is nothing in the rule which prevents the development of talents and abilities of a person to the fullest capacity. The important thing is for whom these are used. You will sooner or later find that success is a relative thing. You'll also find in the religious life a different yardstick in terms of service to the least of God's people. I am very happy with my life right now. I think I will be lonely in the convent. You are wondering whether the religious life can turn out to be a lonely life? All of us aim at happiness. You surely will be happy if God really wants you to become a sister and if you continue to do His will as a religious. Having followed Him all the way, you will find happiness more. For Jesus has in fact promised a reward in this life, and in the life to come to all those who follow Him. To get to know more about us, you can check out our other videos, or visit our websites listed below or better still, visit us in one of our communities. Thanks for watching! God bless!